Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with like kind of a two-part series about... I don't really know what I'm going to call it, but it's definitely going to be something around like... I don't have a lot of time to get ready, I'm tired, my hair is dirty, and I'm in lab like four or six hours every single day. So that is what this video is all about. So for my girls in STEM that work in labs, I got you. I have a makeup look coming that's going to like be okay to wear in lab because of the goggles and stuff. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll probably go up next week. But for this week, I have a hair tutorial, which I know a lot of you wanted me to do a hair tutorial when my hair was super long, but now it's like short. So sorry. Um, but I do have a hair tutorial to do like when your hair is dirty. And I have been doing this like <laughs> a heck of a lot lately because taking a long shower and washing my hair it's a luxury at this point for me. So I have found a way to kind of make my dirty hair actually look really, really good. So my hair is obviously dirty, like my roots are dirty, my hair looks greasy, but what I did last night before I went to bed is I braided my hair. The first thing that I did is I sprayed it all the way through with this herbivore sea mist. This is in the coconut scent, but I also have the lavender scent, which I am out of. Um, this is actually my second bottle of the coconut one because I love it that much. It smells. It smells like a beach in a bottle, which I absolutely love. So like, it's bad though, because whenever I spray this, I get mega beach lust, you know, where like, I'm like, I want to go to a beach, but that's the price you pay. Oh, speaking of price you pay, you can get this for like actually $5 at True Co, which is a lingerie website, but they do sell these hair mists as well. And so I have a $15 off coupon code. Yes, $15, not 15%. So this is normally $20, um, but you can, and it's a giant bottle. How many ounces? This is eight ounces, okay? Eight ounces, $20, but you can get it for $5 if you use my $15 off coupon code, which I will leave a link for down below. Someone just dropped something downstairs. It was really loud. I should probably close the door. I'm gonna go close the door. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, this hair mist. So anyway, what this is, is it's just a sea salt beach wave hair mist. That's what it's described as. I will be talking about this in my February favorites though because I have used this, no joke, every single day. Um, but it, so if you want to hear more about like the product itself, you should watch my February favorites, which will be up uh, the first week of March. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that before bed, I thoroughly spray like the ends of my hair, like not my roots, but like this and downward with the sea mist because what it'll do is look at my hair nice and damp, kind of wet. And then I'll braid my hair pretty tightly and just tie it off and go to sleep. This is the hardest part. The hardest part is done. You braided your hair and you put in a sea mist. Good to go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take the braid out and I'm gonna show you how my hair looks when it's just wavy. So this is how my hair looks when it is just wavy, it's pretty nice, I do have to say, but the greasy roots, they're a problem. So we need to address the greasy roots. My favorite dry shampoo, by far, hands down, is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White dry shampoo. I talked about this in my October favorites way back, so if you wanna learn more about this product, you should go watch that video. But anyway, I'm just gonna give this a good shake, and I'm gonna spray this into the roots of my hair. This stuff is really fragrance though, so if you don't like the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white perfume, you're gonna hate this because it smells like the perfume. So now that the dry shampoo is in my hair, I'm just gonna use my fingers and work through my hair so that there's not a white cast left inside of my hair. All right, so now my roots look decent, yay! So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the body of my hair, or the body of your hair. So I'm gonna take the sea mist again, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly spray through. Oh my god, it smells so good! This like actually smells like a beach in a bottle. I am obsessed. And you can see what nice texture it gives me. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And so now I'm just gonna kind of fluff it up with my hands, but I want a little more volume at my roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fine comb like this and I'm just gonna tease kind of like the top of my hair, just a little bit, not 
a crazy amount, but just a tiny amount, just so that I have something going on. I need to decide which way I want to part my hair, though. Maybe it's And I have actually found that I can do this hairstyle two days in a row. So normally I wash my hair every three days. So the first day I'll have my hair just washed and clean and I can wear it loose. On the second day I can do this hairstyle and it still looks great. And on the third day I just tie it up in a ponytail and call it a day. I can even stretch it out to four days if I wear a ponytail again and I use more of my dry shampoo. So that is a completed hair tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It only took two products to achieve this look. I didn't use any hairspray because the great thing about the Seamist is that the salt water will naturally make your hair retain its waves. Think about like on a really humid day or if you go to the beach, how your hair will naturally get those like beachy waves. That's what this hair mist does in a cute little bottle with a coconut scent. And by the way, the coconut in this isn't super overpowering. Like I can smell it when I spray it onto my hair, but like right now I can't really smell it on myself. I can only smell this. So this is my dirty hair hairstyle. I'm still wearing it loose. It still looks pretty good in my humble opinion and it'll last me the entire day without getting flat or greasy or anything. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for my makeup tutorial next week that is kind of centered around the same theme of having not a lot of time to get ready but still wanting to look good and presentable. <laughs> So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be super good. Thank you so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you have a great week next week, and I will see you very soon with the part two of this series. Bye.